friends. So today we are going to be talking about feelings a little bit. We're going to read a book called Nico Draws a Feeling, and it's about a little boy who uses illustrations or pictures he draws with colored pencils and paper to express himself, to share what's going on up here. And as we're reading, I want you to pay really close attention to the illustrations in the book because we know the illustrations are always very important. But in this book especially, we know he's using illustrations to express himself. So while I'm reading, and it will be in this video, you'll hear my voice, I want you to pay close attention to his pictures. And you can pause it if you don't have time to look at them and really think, what do you think he's trying to show with that picture? looking at the colors, looking at the lines, looking at how he's choosing to draw it. What is he trying to express? What are those feelings? And as you're looking, pay attention to his face. Do the pictures that he's drawing or the pictures he's showing seem to match the expression on his face? Start thinking about how is he feeling in this picture? I hope you enjoy the story. We'll touch base in a minute. Nico draws a feeling. Nico loved to make pictures. Everywhere he went, he carried a box of colored pencils and a pad of paper. Because everywhere he looked, he saw something that inspired him. It might be a mother bird building her nest, or the low autumn sun peeking out from behind a cloud, or the ice cream truck ring-a-linging down the street. When Nico was inspired, it felt like a window opening in his brain. An idea would flit through the open window like a butterfly, flutter down to his stomach, then along his arms and fingers to his pencils, where it would escape onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. It was a wonderful feeling, and Nico tried to capture it as often as he could. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his friends. What is it? One of them would ask. It's the wrangling of the ice cream truck, Nico would answer. Doesn't look like the ice cream truck, someone else would say. It's not the ice cream truck, Nico would answer. It's the wrangling. Where's the bell? It's not the bell, it's the wrangling. I don't get it. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his parents. What is it? His mom would ask. It's the warm of the sun on my face, Nico would answer. I don't see the sun, his dad would say. It's not the sun, it's the warm. Where's your face? It's not my face, it's the warm. Oh. Once he showed a picture to his teacher, Miss Reed. What is it? Miss Reed asked. It's the hard work of a mother robin building her nest, Nico answered. Where's the robin? It's not a robin, it's her hard work. So this is the nest? It's not the nest, it's her hard work. I see. But Miss Reed didn't see. None of them did. One night, Nico sat on his bed thinking about all the pictures taped to his walls. Then he looked at himself in the mirror. He was inspired to make another picture. Only this one he taped to the back of his door where no one else could see it. The next day, Nico was heading out with his paper and colored pencils when he noticed a moving truck next door and a girl about his age. Hi, said the girl. I'm Iris. I'm Nico. Hi. What are you doing with that stuff? This? Nothing. Are you going to draw? Well, yeah, I like to make pictures. Can I see them? I don't know, he said. You might not like them. Nico decided it would be rude to say no, so he invited Iris over. When he, they got to his room, Nico waited for her questions. But she just looked and looked. Finally, after looking at every picture in the room, Iris discovered the one behind the door. Wow, said Iris. What, said Nico. You must have been sad when you made this picture. How did you know? Iris thought, it looks like how I feel. You know, sad because I had to move. Suddenly, Nico felt a window opening in his brain. 
Can I make a picture for you? asked Nico. For me? Sure, said Iris. Like a butterfly, an idea flitted through the open window fluttered down to his stomach and then along his arms and fingers to his colored pencils where it escaped onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. When he was finished, he handed the picture to Iris. This time, Nico asked the question, what is it? Iris looked at the picture for a long time without saying a word. At last, she looked up at Nico. I'm not sure exactly but it makes me feel like I made a new friend. Nico stared at Iris. You can see that? I can feel it, Iris replied, like a butterfly landing on my finger. A butterfly? asked Nico. I know, it sounds weird. Nico smiled, not to me. So in the story, we saw that Nico was using illustrations to share his feelings. And Iris saw one of his pictures and said, I can tell you were feeling sad in that. And I don't know if you noticed, but it reminded me of the mood meter. Because on the mood meter, blue a lot of the time means sad or feeling down. And she saw his picture that was a lot of blue squiggles and she said, that, that looks sad to me. I think, I think you were feeling sad. And it, she was right. She knew. So right now, I think it's very important that we pay close attention to the way that we're feeling and ways that help us express that. Because it's been a time that has given us a couple challenges. Um, we've had a lot of change. We're home right now. We're not used to that. Um, things can be a little scary. They can be a little frustrating. It can be lonely. Maybe you miss school. Maybe things are exciting at home. Maybe you're happy. There's a lot of feelings. And sometimes it's hard to express those feelings with our words. Sometimes we don't get the chance to. Sometimes we don't want to. So you are going to be making your own illustrations to share how you're feeling. You can share how you're feeling just today. You can share how you've been feeling while you're home. You can share a mixture, maybe this week, whatever you want. But I want you to think about how you can show the way that you're feeling. And I'll show you. I made one really quickly. And mine's just scribbles because I did it. I did it quickly. And this is also just how I chose to express myself. And if you notice, there's a lot of colors in here because I've had a lot of feelings. This is kind of my while we've been home <laughs> representation. Some of it's red. When you see red, I've been frustrated. I've been confused. I've been hopeful and excited. I've gotten to see some of your faces on video chat and see your work. And that makes me happy. I've gotten to talk to my family and my friends. I've also been lonely. I've also been missing school. So this is kind of a good representation of the fact that my feelings have been all over the place. Maybe you've just consistently felt a couple different ways. Maybe yours is going to be a lot of really bright colors or a lot of dark colors. However you feel is what you will represent. And yours will look different than mine and it will look different than Mrs. Cancer's would or Miss Zipperly or Mrs. Balawa or anyone because we all feel different ways and we all express it different ways. But your job is to think about how you're feeling or how you have been feeling. And then think about how you can show it. It's important to acknowledge the way we feel because it's important to know the way we feel and how we can handle it. And this is just another tool in our toolbox, another way to express ourselves. All right, of course, you can always come to me to talk to, but I can't wait to see your pictures. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.